No, your dad come to you now. He said, son, I'm sorry, I have to sacrifice you. What are you going to say? He said, dad, what did you eat last night? <laughs> I will call 911. <laughs> Here, 911, also police. Number, see. Well, no. Hey, dad, there's hospital there. Look at what his mind said. He didn't say, kill me. But he said, Ya abatif alma to Umar. Do what Allah commands you to do. What's the difference? He said, Dad, this is not your command. Not my mom command. Right? Not my command. It's Allah command. You don't need to ask question. Right? Subhanallah. That's Ibrahim al Islam. That's successful. So therefore, uh, then what's the reaction of Khalifa? We read in the end of the Baqarah that I Samina Wa'ata'ana. Whatever Allah SWT has to do, Samina Wa'ata'ana. The problem with Muslim now what? Even Samina is not there. <laughs> you know, if you have an um, announcement, you get to have halaqa. Not the two coming. But you have food, you come. <laughs> yeah. Subhanallah. And then what after that? So you are Khalifa, follow Ibrahim alayhi salam, learn from Adam and Bani Israel. Right? So therefore the only prophet we mention every day was Kama Ta'ala, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim is the symbol of such nation. Right? So, Samina wa Ta'ana, this is our attitude. Then what? Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina wa akhtana. Dua. No, I try as best we can. Right? So again, what's the goal of Surah Al-Fatiha? Come on. Huh? Summary. Summarize plan. The summary plan. In Al-Baqarah, you are my Khalifa. Right? So to Imran, Al Imran, look at when you know the goal, then when you read Surah Fatiha, well, Allah talking to you, I'm, I'm this Khalifa, so I have to do this. I have to be Samina al I have to make you al -Mashra. So you have picture. Then when you read Tafsir, well, I, I get it now. Right? What's the meaning of Samina? We hear. We hear. We hear and, and obey. Yeah. We hear and obey. Al Imran. What the goes for Imran? How to be steadfast as Khalifa? It's not easy. So, therefore, it's not Imran. Allah start by there is a dialogue between Muhammad وسلم, in the 70 mom of. Uh, Christian, they come from Nagran to Marina and they sleep in Marina for weeks and they're discussing about Isa al salam and all this. Did you read the beginning of the Bible? So that you have a, a few that mean to be steadfast, your mind that they have knowledge. Remember, I mentioned about our youth problem, they're not equipped with knowledge. They're very weak. So therefore, uh, last Ramadan, a mother from Kosovo, they cry. They said, why, Imam, please help me. My son came home and he said, Mom, I don't want to fast anymore. There is no God. Uh, an atheist teacher was able to convince him that there is no God in two hours. Why? Because the son did not equip with Islamic knowledge. Salat is like a custom. So they are fasting all. I asked, you know, you know what the Fatiha means? You know? My dad just teach me the knowledge. I didn't understand what Iyaka and Amudu. Very easy. Right? Yeah. So therefore, Quran, in order to be steadfast, you need to equip. The second one, the bridge for Imran is about the battle of Uhud. Allah analyzes. 
this practical right in the battle of uhud the sahaba because rasulullah with them right they will get victory not ever because in badr our number less now it's more right but allah let them fail allah want to tell the message hey even muhammad with you if you disobey him you will not get victory that was the message right so what surat al-fatihah's goal the summaries and uh, al-baqarah ya ma khalifa al-imran how to stand fast be firm not easy and in surat an-nisa what nisa mean woman is how to be kind to the weak now you are khalifa and you are know how to stand fast no it's practical look at right because so nisa talk about the orphan about the woman about divorce and all this right so right to basically say every story have what the goals right i'm just jumping to surah number seven in the way conclude so number seven what surah number maida five yes seven seven and araf and araf araf in the the mountain of highs the ghost of the araf allah that they want to tell us the the hack and battle the truthful in front they always have confrontation right never always you find people supporting the truth and the other evil in every among the muslim non muslim all muslim right but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look at you right where do you stand so if you read surah al-araf you will find story about prophet no who in the people they have always confrontation also talk about adam and iblis right yeah So where you stand when you see this confrontation? Huh? Where you stand? You stand with the truth or the falsehood or silent? Silent is not safe you. So therefore, why in the end of Surah uh, Araf, Allah tell us about the people of Sabat? As Bani Israel, Allah forbid them to feast on Saturday, right? And on Saturday, Allah test them. The fish jumping like this, <laughs> and then Sunday had to wait like this, right? So some of them, wait a minute, yeah, we have to do something. So they put their net on Saturday. Some more like tunnel. When the prophet came, what are you doing, man? We are not fishing. <laughs> this is not riba. This is interest. This is bonus. This is girlfriend. Don't be fishing in there, right? <laughs> so then people divided into three. Those, those who are fishing, those who are not fishing, and the third one. Who came forward and remind every day the one who did fish? I mean, you can do this. It's haram. Right. Right. Uh, it said, "Lima ta'iduna." So the third group said, "Right. Why is your? He said, "Is that your business, man? I'm not going to my to punish them." Right. So the so the third group said, man, why bother me? Let them do. I'm not going to punish them. What is it? Ma'adiratan ina rabbikum. I have excuse on their judgment when Allah asked me 
What did you do when you see the evil? I said, I come forward. How about you? So therefore, when the punishment came, what happened? The first thing Allah SWT said, Allah SWT said, Allah saved the people who warning them. And Allah punish you. Oh, they want to fish him and what? They want to silent. Silent. You know, the reason why the evil they become strong and strong what? Not because the evil they are lot. What? The majority is silent. Like for example, I'm sorry, LGBT and all this. The reason they become strong, why? Not because they are lot, not even among the people. But this majority is silent. Yes, the dangers. Even something among the family. Our family, your cousin, your aunt, that's the danger sometimes. So they therefore said, Kuntum khair ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You are the best nation that Allah has been promised. One of students, uh, a son, Dad, but we are not, we are not the best. What the father said, continue the ayah. Ta'muruna bil ma'ruf. You are the best nation because what? You enjoy good, or be the evil, and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? Do you know that in, in Islam, we cannot kill frog, kodok. That is hadith. So don't kill frog because in voice ko ko is tasbih. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah. The frog make it tasbih. <laughs> and also, when they going to put Ibrahim alaihissalam into the fire, the frog went to the river and sip the water and go and try to turn off the fire. <laughs> With other animals, they saw this, hey, what are you doing, man? You don't know? What? They're going to put Khalilullah into the fire. Right? And then what? You going to turn off? Yeah. I know. I won't, I won't be able to turn off the fire, the big fire. But I want to send the message that I'm against the tyrant, against the oppression, right? And also, the same, when they judgment, when Allah asked me, what did you do when my holy will be fired? I tried to turn off. How about you? The same what happened in Gaza, Allah will ask us, what did you do when people in Gaza suffered? Did you join protest? Right? You will go and say, Imalu, do something. Even just copy and pass you, spread the word. You know this? Canadian, American, they change their mind because of what? What did you do? What did, what did you do with the media? They express everything. <laughs> right? So we are we always in the third purpose of this white man. Yeah? So I know you are sleepy, you know. <laughs> You take too long. So that I think the so the last one is Allah. Uh, make Quran like the best friend. Right? That don't you have you know if you all you don't open your your cell phone Monday, whatever. Uh, you miss something, right? The sahaba revelation of the Quran like us with the cell phone. Right? He said, uh, Osman bin Affan, in Ramadan, he finished Quran one day. Abdul bin Masood, three days. You know, there's the, one of the four madhab. One of them, they finish Quran twice a day. Which Imam? Imam Shafi. <laughs> right? They enjoy it, right? Because Quran, and also the last one, read Quran 
with with many intention sama ulama saya not only for barokah or you will ya Allah ya Quran that the Quran is shifa for me to cure shifa to become shafa'a legitimate intercession for me right Quran give me guidance and all this because sometimes intention can change everything you know today two people come to masjid when you come to masjid what do you pray when you come to masjid what do you pray they have to masjid right but somebody because of the intention they get three reward you come to masjid Make intention what I tell masjid once again. Huh? Sunnah before Fajr once again. Wudu. Sunnatul Wudu. <laughs> so you have three intention. The same two rakat. Right? But look at the difference. So intention make the reward is different. Right? Even I said And they said, man, there's some people is very poor, but Allah will get the reward of Hajj. How? Allah, I can't even go to Toronto. How we go to Hajj? Because of what? He saw his neighbor come from Hajj. He said, oh, I wish I had money, I can. Right? Maybe during fundraising, somebody gave one million. He's a poor man. He said, oh, if I have money like this, <laughs> Yeah. So we ask Allah Subhanahu Taala that Allah Subhanahu Taala strengthen our iman, our yakin, Allah Subhanahu Taala, and put the love of Quran in our heart. Insha'Allah. Jazakallah khairan. Insha'Allah. Wait. Yeah. Is there a outcome of the Quran besides the support of Allah and the love of His love? The support. Hmm. So all the ibadah that we call five pillars, hmm. basically the exec of that, the essence of that, is the taqwa. Yeah. Now we see the emphasis every year on the benefit of the ritual, you know, that you get as a blessing. But we don't focus on how many sins we're going to leave in this Ramadan. Let's say, hmm. someone is lying. Or do like biting or something, Ava, for example. He needs to have a resolution before the Ramadan. This in this Ramadan, I'm going to stop this. Or you're going to recite on the Namahram. Hmm. These are the outcome. This is the whole, whole essence of the, the month of Ramadan yeah. and the poem. That's all. Yeah. I think this is the most important. That's what Allah Taala said yeah. in Akramatun in the life of Allah. Okay. Otherwise, you're not close to Allah. That's right. Yeah, the, the, the goal of Quran is like what I did say. It's not just to recite. You know, I was driving yesterday, I mentioned, I said, The Quran was sent down, right? Full blessing, not to read different. Because hypocrite in Medina was reading Quran. He had dabbar to reflex. The dabbar mean when you read Quran, what's the message of this ayah? What Allah wanted from, from this ayah from me? Right? If you read Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about three stories, right? That in the second one of chicken juice story first one is ibrahim alayhi salam ibrahim and namrud so namrud get angry hey, ibrahim what your god can do ibrahim said you hear what you mean give life and death ah, easy i can do the same you know what he did he killed innocent people and someone sent them to death by judge He released him. So he gave what? Life and death. What did Ibrahim say? He said, are you stupid? Not the, right? No. This is very important. 
that when you have debate with somebody, he said, the person more important than the issue. Maybe you win, but you lost the person because you attacked them. Yeah. Ibrahim said, oh, okay. فَإِنَّ مَا يَاتِي بِالشَّمْسِ مِنَ الْمَشْرِكِ فَأَتِي بِهَا مِنَ الْمَغْرِبِ Allah bring the sun from the east every day. Can you bring from the west? <laughs> right? Yeah. After that, story about who? A man. We was riding donkey. He brought the, the fruit, grape, I think, the fig, and the bread. And then he passed by a city that was ruined, destroyed, upside down. So he sat down, you know, and in order to make the bread soft, he, he, he makes the, the grape become like juice and put it. While he was waiting, he looked at the ruin. How Allah can bring again this city after the Islam? Allah caused him to death. 100 years. When he woke up, oh, nakam la vista. How long did you sleep? Ya wana ubadu. Maybe one day. day. No. You, leave, you, 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 you die 100 years. No. How long the, the, the fruit and bread can stay? Two, three days. Wandur ila tu'amika wa sarabika lam yatasanna. Look to your food, it's still fresh, and it's used, right? And then he, he, he couldn't see the what? Donkey. He saw the board. Wandur ilahi marik, the board for us. Then Allah bring them back, right? Imagine he like, like he saw in the laboratory of love. You see the, the board come up and the flesh came in, right? So then he returned. To his house, riding down. Imagine 100 years now. Right? When he was in the front of his house, he found a lady, his age, her age was 120 years old, with a stick like this, and blind. So he said, he said, who are you? Who are you? Now it's my house. What? Who are you? He said, I'm Uzair. Uzair, are you lying? He joked. Uzair, we couldn't find him 100 years ago. So this lady was 20 years old when Uzair left. Yeah? No. He's, he's a servant. You know. So he was 20 years old. I said, I am Uzair. No, you lie. Right? If, you know, if you're already Uzair, Allah gave him a miracle. One of the miracles, he cured disease more than the blind person. Make dua for me. Do tell me dua. And her side come back. Ah, yeah, who's there? <laughs> right? And they brought to the people. The people still don't believe. And one of them, if you're Uzair, Uzair, he hide the Torah. When the, when the war start, I said, yeah. I don't want the place. And the dick in the Tauro, he was eating by a small insect. You know, just, you couldn't read it. But Allah SWT, you know, make him able to memorize the, the Tauro and ask them to write down. Right? No. If you read before that, Allah talk about what? I told Kursi, right? Allah la ilaha illa huwa al-hay. Hay means Allah the living, the one who gives life. Right? So Ibrahim talked about life. How Allah bring death to life. Right? This is also the same concept. But also, listen, we learn from Uzair. For Allah, there is nothing impossible. So something in our life, everything was closed. You do here and there, or maybe you go to doctor, doctor said, 
Even today, in three months, four months. I no. In Allah, ala kulli sayyim, qadir. A few years ago, there is a man, he's from, originally from, from Kurdistan. The doctor said, you know, he going to live in a sick month, and then, and then he going to die. So he called me, I want to go to Umrah. So he turned me to Umrah. He made Tawa, feeding Zamzam. When he came back, you know, doctor is surprised. His cancer is better. It's not curious. After a few months, we went for Hajj. He joined Hajj with us. The same make the of Ding Zamza, make the to us, Allah Ta'ala, read Quran. You know, because he said, if I'm dying, I'm better die in Mecca. When he came back, doctor checked, no more cancer. And the said, hey, give me that water. He said, it's not good. Right? Why? Because what? He not lost hope. What's the story after that? What's the story after that? Three stories called Ibrahim, Uzair, and what? Ibrahim again. Ask Allah what? Kaifa to heal Mauta. How to bring back dead. What else said? Ola awalam to mean you don't believe? Kola bala. I just want to satisfy you. Right? And Allah asked them what? To bring what? The bird, right? And cut fish fish and put it in the mountain and they come back. Right? What lesson we learn? It is very important that sometimes it is good to know the wisdom behind something. To convince. Because sometimes maybe your son said, Dad, why I had why, why I had to pray? Parents said, Are you Muslim? No. Explain. Look at when you remember. Ramadan al-Ladina, Ramadan al-Ladi unzila fil Quran huda lin nas wa bayinatin min al-Huda. Huda means salat. But if somebody said, "I why to pray?" Bayinat, we explain. It's better. For example, you know you have a friend, and he study kung fu. He have a black belt, for example, right? You know, you believe him, right? You can never lie. But how to make you really convinced? Brick, ten brick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? When I work, I mean, I work as Muslim chaplain in prison, an imam, you know, hey, imam, teach me how to pray. Okay, stand up. Stand up. And then what? Rest your hand. Allah. Oh, I have to rest my hand. Uh, somebody put the gun, what you do? <laughs> Submission. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> right? So, therefore, Allah SWT, Alimun Hakim. He knows everything and then what? Wise. So, something, you know, to extend the people, accepted to our youth, the wisdom, because everything happens is there's wisdom in it. Do you know how? Oh, the Zaki next said about a million people become Muslim from the world because of what? Gaza. Because of Gaza. They did that more better than us. Right? We cannot bring those million people to Islam. But because of them, because of their resilience, their fastness, with all the suffering, what the most word we hear from them? What's the word, the most word we hear from people on Gaza? Alhamdulillah. Hasbun Allah. Somebody can, what's Alhamdulillah with that? Alhamdulillah, Hasbun Allah with all this. <laughs> right? That's the dawa. And how, how this happened? Because he know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, knows everything. Allah is wise. Everything happens to be wisdom. Yeah. But then the surah.